So today, um, people, a lot of people are saying, oh, that is good for him. A lot of people are saying, why did she do that? You know, a lot of talk and talking, talking, talking. So the truth here is a lot of people, like this particular guy, many people don't know him. Many people don't never, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Many people have never heard about him, but he is a billionaire. So there are a lot of people out there who are rich, who has money, who are billionaires and millionaires in Nigeria that a lot of people don't know. Maybe one or two things must have happened to them. Then before then, they you now get a clue that such person exists or such person is a billionaire or such person is a, a millionaire. See how a little girl like that will empower a, a mature grown man like that to just stab him and just kill him like that. Except she did it when the guy was sleeping. That was when she was able to do it. Or else, or, or, or she did the, or she, or she the, there was a drug in his, in his drink. Maybe he was, he was drugged. That was why she succeeded in doing that. And a lot of people was, a lot of people have come across, uh, when people say, and she, she, she did it because she wanted to steal from the guy. No. I believe when everybody has, I, 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 I wouldn't know what is a fact. I don't really know because uh, what I'm trying to say here is a lot of people like from this, he's like, um, after stabbing him, after the, uh, they, they found out that uh, he made a transfer from the guy's um, phone. He made a transfer of some huge amounts of money. So, according to the girl, the girl said that he was the one that gave, he gave her, uh, gave her, uh, his phone, that the guy gave her his phone, his phone, sorry, to make the transfer. That one is possible because if I am with you and your, your, you have a, you are doing online banking and your phone, you are doing it on your phone, if I want to transfer money from your account when I don't know your PIN code, there's no way I would make any transfer from your from your from your from your account with through your phone. If I don't have your PIN code, there's no way I can transfer money from your from your account to any phone. Yes, justice has to take its full course. That is why I said earlier on this video when I started. When they investigate her very well, like what I, I suggest or what I think, she's not the only one that has done this. And I believe she was being paid to do this. They used her from time to time to time before they get to that particular stage where she now stabbed the guy. So they have to go for a proper investigation. That is what I believe. I believe she's not the only one that did this. I believe she's not the only one who is involved. But she, because the way she's talking and she's trying to, maybe they must have told her, don't worry, we're going to help you. This is Nigeria. Uh, money can speak. Money can do everything. Don't worry. So that is what I believe. I believe she's not the only one that has done this. Yes. She's not the only one that ha must have done this. There is other corporate by the side. Who must have told her, this is what you will say, don't be afraid, whatever thing they do to you, we are there for you, we will back you up, we are going to spend money, this is Nigeria, money can do everything. So in this particular case, I don't think money can do everything because the people that are involved, they are still uh, people that are worthy. It's a, it's, a, it's a billionaire, his wife too, will not just let his husband to just die like that. Like the earlier stage when this whole thing started, the first of all news that we had was that when she came, there was a bike guy that came, that came, they saw it on the CCT camera, that there was a, a, a guy that came with the bike that was masked, nobody's face was covered, and something like that. So she can't just tell me, the, because what she was saying on the video where she was being interviewed was that and uh, they were arguing and uh, he was telling him he was not taking care of him and uh, all this money that you have you are not doing anything for me 
and, and that and that. If the if you are going out with a guy and you feel that this guy has money, like if, like if you watch most people that has money, they don't spend their money anyhow. Most people that has money, those people that are rich, they don't just spend their money anyhow. It takes them time before they bring out their money from their pockets. That is what we people should understand. And because the way they started and and, and got to that stage that they are, it wasn't a, it wasn't an easy journey for them to get to that stage and make such money and become the way they are. So that is why when they spend their money, they take their time, they calculate their they calculate before they spend their money. It doesn't mean because the guy is a billionaire and you are the side chick, he must give you 10 million, 5 million, 20 million. No. They suffer and they sweat to get their money too. They don't just start become a billionaire or start picking money from the streets. No, it doesn't. It, it didn't work that way. It didn't happen like that. They they got their money through their sweat. They struggle to get their money too. So if you, if you are going out with a guy and the guy is not you are what you expect from that guy, you are not getting it. It doesn't warrant to kill the guy. You just walk away. He saw you. Maybe something. He, something must have attracted him to you. That was why he came to you. And when you yourself, who are, who is still, who is still attracted to the guy, and you are not getting what you want. It's not a do or that affair. He didn't force you. You just walk away freely. Killing this guy now, wasting this, uh, the, the, this guy now, what gain has she? So the truth here is, for me, I am the one who is suggesting here, She's not the only culprit. That is just the truth. She's not the only culprit. She's not the only one who has done this. They should investigate and follow this matter properly. By the time they investigate the matter properly, maybe she will, she will mention the other people. Because if you see the way, when they are interviewing her, the way she's talking, yeah, we have to learn. It's something that we must learn from because, uh, you see people, and if you see the way she was, if you see her appearance and the way she was talking when they interviewed her, she was so innocent, so gentle. If they tell you that this, this kind of person can kill a fly, you will say, God forbid, you will not even accept. You will not believe that this kind of person can even kill a fly. That is just the truth. So, it's a lesson for everyone to learn. It's a lesson. It's a lesson. It's a very big lesson. It's a very, very big lesson for everybody to learn. Because the society now, everybody eye is chicken. You want, people want to make money from where, you want to make money from where you did not sow from. You want to make money, you, you don't want to labor to have it. Yes, we, it's a, a, exactly. We got to be very, very careful. We got to be very, very careful. And like I said, like I'm saying now, what happened to this particular man with this, uh, um, the, this little girl? I will call her a little girl. She's just 21. She's just 21. Anyway, she's an adult, but uh, she's just a little girl. It goes the same, it goes the same way by, um, in the, uh, uh, when a, when a guy is dating a man, uh, sorry, a girl is dating a man. It's not only what happened to this, uh, uh, this particular uh, issue now, it has or it has been happening in Nigeria. She's not the only one. It has happened when a man will kill, a, start to get to death in the hotel room. It happens a lot in Nigeria. It happens a lot. It happens a lot in Nigeria. People kill people. They rare and they, every day you hear people. Sometimes you see the murder somebody. They will just dump the person. On the, on the gutter, on the street, on the bush, some, like the other one that happened, uh, think, uh, two months ago, or that, if I'm not mistaken, the one that happened in Akwa Ibon, when a guy, yes, like from the one that happened in Akwa Ibon, a student, a final year, oh no, she's already a graduate, that is seeking for employment, she got a, an advert on Instagram, that there is a job somewhere and she was invited for the job interview. Everybody saw that video. It went viral. The guy went and when she got there, the guy deceived her 
And immediately she got to the apartment and he found out that what she came there for was not what she's what she's seen. And the old, she couldn't escape. The guy just hit her something and she fell and killed the girl. That is what I'm saying. He killed this girl, buried her in a shallow grave. And when he was caught, because they, they, they could, they, they could able to trace him through the, um, through the conversations they made on the phone. They went through the guy's, um, uh, conversation with the guy. That was how they were able to trace this guy. They caught him. And they find out that inside the same compound, and the house was his father's house, and inside that same compound, he has buried a lot of girls, a lot of females, female in that same compound, on the shallow graves. So please, we mothers and fathers, we should please be talking to our children because the way the world is going now, things are getting out of hell to zip. You know one thing about here in Nigeria, when cases like this comes up, when you don't pursue it, it will just die like that. That is Nigeria for you. When case comes up like this, you don't pursue that case, it will just die. And Nigeria is a country that anything you do, you have to spend money. 